Things have been a little dull at Ford lately. Their recent launches include the fairly forgettable Fiesta, the rather futile Fusion, and a six-speed gearbox for their diesel engine. Woo! So, Ford showrooms aren't exactly brimming with eye candy at the moment, but that could all soon change with this, the new streetcar. It's their baby convertible, based on the humble Ford Ka. It's styled in-house, but built by Pininfarina. Prices start at 12 and a half grand, and it's on sale next month. And I think it looks pretty cute. But the big question is, has it got enough style to lift Ford's stodgy image? Well, we are in Cannes, where tax exiles and their multi-million pound yachts are to a penny. And strangely, I don't feel too out of place in a tiny rag top with a blue oval on the front of it. Now, there's a first. The chic drivers of Cannes, or Chigwell, might care to know that this is a charmingly entertaining car to drive. The new 1.6 94 BHP engine hits 60 miles an hour in a conservative 12 seconds, but any faster than that and people wouldn't be able to see you. And what's the point in that? It isn't a bona fide sports car, though. It's not called street for nothing. So don't expect it to be a rascal around the country lanes. Treat it more like a Gucci handbag. However, it isn't as well lined. The interior is pretty snazzy for a Ford, but it's still a bit kindergarten, and I can't quite see many burly blokes falling for its childlike controls. And then there's the manual roof, which does nothing for your cool image either, because you have to get out of the thing. Press a button, put that up, haul the roof out, flip that bit up, pop that bit back, fold that bit back, and then you've got two clips at the front to do, and you have to do it all again to get it back down. Mm. <sighs> but even though this is a tiny, weeny two-seater sports car, the boot is big enough for more than a baseball cap. Now, when it comes to extras, you're going to have to pay for them. These deliciously heated leather seats and the air conditioning system will cost more than a thousand pounds, making this spec up streetcar a pretty pricey proposition. But many of you won't care because small cabriolets seem to be the next big thing. There are open topped offerings from Nissan, Vauxhall, and Mitsubishi on the way to join Peugeot's already extremely successful 206cc. OK, it is more expensive than we'd hoped, but there aren't many easy ways of attracting attention for under £13,000. It is a lot of fun. It does sit in a low insurance group, seven, and it is so 2003, darling. Oh, and it has got a rear end that is as cute as Kylie's. 